David Tubb here. I'm going to talk about a new product from Superior Shooting Systems. The 17.7 precipitation hardened flat wire 30 round AR-15 max bay. We call it a 32 or a 33 round max bay. You go, well, okay. Typical mag springs are round wire. This is flat wire. You go, well, why is one better than the other? Well, the material to begin with on this one is better. It's also mil spec. That means it'll survive a 72 hour salt water bath test or 96 hour salt water bath test. But when you compress the round wire spring to solid height and a flat wire spring to solid height, <clears throat> you're gonna see that the difference is stark. Here's a round wire compressed to solid height and here's a flat wire compressed to solid height. If you notice where they end, it's way more than half the width of a cartridge case in height, uh, the thickness of it. Just assume that it's very close to this amount in height difference. So it, you'll see that it's very easy to get at least two and sometimes three more rounds in there. When, but with basically the same coiling stress. And I know most people take a round wire spring and load 28 rounds in it when it'll hold 30. Well, you can take this one and you can load 32 in it, I'm sorry, 30 in it when it'll hold 32 with the same coiling stress. Now, while that's all well and important, the fact that we can hold more rounds, what is what I feel is really important, and we're gonna use a spring or a load sensor for this, is the fact that <clears throat> the last 10 rounds in an AR-15 magazine are typically the ones that cause and give the, the jamming problems, okay? And so I've done a lot of tests here. And typically this, this one shows, this usually shows up at three or 3.1 pounds of load at what I would call installed height or position one, okay? And when I go ahead and insert one round in there, you're gonna see it doesn't change it very much, okay? Change to 3.1 pounds. Well, if I take this out and I kind of bang it around or I drop it on the floor, it's very easy for a round to get to there, okay? Or fall out, okay? And <clears throat> this weak little magazine spring because typically these have been loaded and left loaded and they're a substandard material, the wire is, compared to 17.7. <clears throat> they're struggling all they can to get the next round in the feeding position when you're shooting and that bolt is racing back and forth. And so consequently, the last 10, as I've mentioned before, are typically where the AR-15 jams. So let's go in and we're gonna load 11 rounds in here. And then we're going to take out a couple. All right. Okay. That shows 4.9. So I'm going to take out one round, two rounds. So I have nine rounds in there now. Okay. I had 11. It's four and a half pounds of load. Okay. Right. Remember, four and a half pounds of load. Now we're going to take this out and we're going to change spring. See, I've done this many times because I've still got my magazine loaded. Turn around and we're going to put and insert the flat wire spring back into the test fixture. Turn this just a little bit. Okay. And it shows 6.0 load. So it shows a pound and a half more load with now nine rounds in it, which is basically a, upwards of 20% more load at height. Now, when we go in and we strip these off down to the last round, let's say you were shooting, okay, what you're gonna see is that last round is at 4.4 pounds, okay? And it started at three pounds. So essentially, this spring at installed height or with the, with the magazine all the way to the top with one round has 50% more vertical load and has the ability to put the bullet in there where it should be. So it's going to reduce your jams and not only that, but it's going to, with the, with the, the, the uniqueness and the qualities of this is you can load a mag to 32 or 33 rounds and it really doesn't affect the spring life. And to that end, here are two flat wire magazine springs that we <clears throat> produced in our first run. We're actually already into our second run of these. You notice this has a little yellow paint on it and this one doesn't. Well, when I put these in, and you'll see, notice if I hold them side by side, they're virtually the same height, okay? This one's just slightly shorter, <clears throat> virtually the same height, okay? And that's the take and a set part. But when I put these on my load sensor, <clears throat> and when I, if I do this one, this one showed 4.2 
pounds of vertical load, and this one showed 4.4 pounds of vertical load, never been compressed. Okay? And if you do the math calculations on that, that's approximately a 2% loss in spring load. And the surprising thing is, is this spring was loaded in a PMAG with 33 rounds, which basically takes it to solid height, and left for a sitting in a, left sitting for a year. Right? So that, that tells you is you can load your mags up with 32 rounds using one of these systems, and your, the, spring, the, the life of your spring will basically be indefinite. So if, you, if you're really serious about having your AR run consistently, the flat wire magazine spring from Superior Shooting Systems should be a product that you look at.